some of us may die, but that's a sacrifice Tom's willing to make. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so like oh. I said, we'll have three and a half hours from when we actually start. It'll be a ten minute break in the middle there. Your goal will be to escape the level of the dungeon you start off in. It'll become clear what that entails kind of when it starts. Uh, let me give you some background. So this is Shrine of the Jaguar Princess, and those who sail merchant vessels along the civilized waterways of the Hyborian Kingdom speak of one pirate above all that fills them with terror, the Queen of the Black Coast. Renowned for her cunning and infamous for her cruelty, the Corsair Queen's flag spells death for all unfortunate enough to spy it on the horizon. However, the Queen of the Black Coast tires of plundering jugs of ale, bundles of wheat, and spears bound for trembling conscripts. With her crew of criminals, outcasts, and exiles, she sets sail for the mouth of the forbidden Zarkiba River. It is on those treacherous banks that the hidden shrine of a long-lost civilization is rumored to house a relic cast by malevolent gods, the Golden Jaguar of Princess Noctli. You all are those said criminals, outcasts, and exiles. So let's do some quick character introductions of your guys. I'm going to move you to the map that we'll be playing on, which we'll be using um, dynamic lighting, so you'll have that going. Um, let's start with uh, Behelen. Go ahead, give a quick description for kit players. Yeah, so Balin is a middle-aged dwarf who, uh, like his father before him, served in the church of Madeira the Covenant as uh, handling the types and whatnot, and his greed got the bit the best for him, and he became an independent jeweler, leaving the church and ran into some trouble with some uh, loan sharks, shall we say, and so he is out now with his father's bow, the one thing he has to remember him by, and looking to seek his fortune. Then next we have Dreg. Uh, Dreg is a, a younger dwarf, uh, grew up on the streets uh, of a big city, uh, was part of a, a rougher kind of group of uh, guys, and was always the smallest so and kind of the, the weakest, so he was picked last, kind of only could only eat what was left over, uh, so uh, in his kind of sadness turned to finding drink uh, and so hence the name Dreg. I'm going to backtrack just real quick to Balin. Balin, any rumors you've heard about this place you're going that you want to share? Yes, there is. Balin has heard a rumor that a mortal bearing a jaguar princess figurine may pass through the dreaded Hall of Thunder without having their bones shattered by sound. And Dreg, anything that you know that you want to share? Uh, sure. I found out that a mimic in the guise of a step pyramid awaits fresh meat in the city of gold. Okay, Godfrey, your turn. Uh, yeah, this is Godfrey. Um, he was uh, used to be a priest in good standing uh, in the Order of St. Teragnus, um, uh, but uh, due to a love of the drink, uh, was thrown out of his uh, cloister. Um, he still maintains that he is faithful um, and has a connection to St. Teragnus, but uh, due to, well, uh, you know, being being thrown out and, uh, you know, that being the only life he's ever known, uh, has fallen on some hard times and has so has turned to adventuring to support himself. And has he heard any rumors or seen any visions from his God? Uh, he has seen, he was given a vision um and it was very disturbing so he has seen that the only way to reach the star eaters domain um the still beating heart of the jaguar princess's guardian must be cut free with a sacrificial dagger so he doesn't know what this means but this is why he is on this expedition is to find out like he's had this reoccurring sort of uh nightmare he would call it and he's trying to figure out why it's being sent to him by St. Teragnus. Next, we got Laszlo. Uh, Laszlo is the son of an orcish war priestess and a human guard who became a hero. Uh, his father's name was also Laszlo. And uh, I think that he probably got into some trouble with some pimps uh, because he was 
uh, a little bit too frisky uh, when he set out as a uh, as an adventurer for the first time on his own. And he probably owes some money. So that's how he ended up on this pirate crew. And has he heard any rumors? Yes. Uh, he's heard that those unlucky enough to be judged unworthy by the priests of Noxley are turned into golden statues that fetch a high price on the Black Coast. Okay, last but not least, Stalnir. Ooh, all right. Stalnir is a young man, uh, uh, was a farm boy, uh, frustrated with with the farming life, um, and discovered upon some uh, burnable medicinals that had led to a mind-altering experience. Since then, he has forever been in the pursuit of strange and weird and dark secrets, uh, resulting in his uh, apprenticeship to a... Uh, uh, to a wizard, uh, also resulting in some pretty significant mishaps <laughs> leading to his uh, poor inner constitution. Uh, so he is always on the lookout for the next mind-altering substance and secrets of the beyond. And has he heard any rumors? Yeah, well, he's heard all the usual things of old places uh, that come to scare you. Uh, in particular, though, he's curious about the truth or not of some sort of vampire uh, in this in this uh, lair. Okay. So the delve begins as you guys disembark from the ship and head toward the ruins that you see through the tops of the canopy of the jungle. And as you're making that, uh, that short trek, you believe, you are set upon by furious warriors in jaguar masks. Pretty soon they are all around you. You're chased through the jungle. When you approach the shrine, an imposing ziggurat in a steamy jungle clearing, you fall through a sinkhole into the first area. Everything is dark. You regain your senses atop a heap of debris. Everything is silent except for a rattling of the last falling pebbles and your own breathing. All right, so that's where we start. And um, who would generally be your leader, like carrying your light and going in the front? I guess that's probably me. <laughs> <laughs> was that Laszlo talking? Yeah, I think Laszlo is... I mean, I'm the, the beefy fighter with the sword, so... Okay, Laszlo. I'll have you go first. And what do you want to do? It's pitch dark. You hear the rattle of stones. You just fell down into some cave. And it's real still and quiet here. Is everyone all right? Let's get a torch lit. And you all hear that? that is torch. I can get some light going if you'd like. Still. Okay, Laszlo, I'll have you go first. What do you want to do as your action? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just, uh, I, I hear Stalnir, uh, say that he can get some light going. So I certainly, um, just for suggestion, you probably want to have your leader carrying your light. Cause otherwise people will be going off and alone in the dark. Are you going to be carrying a light, Lazo? Is that your plan? Uh, so how does it work? I can carry, uh, a torch and a shield, yeah, but not my drop, sword at the same time. Your, yeah. You just drop your torch on the ground when you want to draw your sword. I see. Okay. You want to do that? All right. Cool. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll light a torch up. For All right. Now, so Lazo on his turn lights up a torch, and you look around a little bit. You can see now down here is where you all are. Let's check light um, or vision. Can everyone see as yeah. if they are their token? You should see one light source for, on Lazo. Yep. Yes. yes, sir. All right. So Lazo, this light source, to move it around, it'll just sit kind of in the top corner of your square, but you can kind of drag across... A light and your token, and it'll select both, and then you can use the arrow keys to move both at the okay. same time. Okay, so you oh, do that. Cool. That was your action, Lazo. And uh, actually, with the light shining, does anyone else want to do any light right at the start? St Stalnir will get right. some light going. Have a second light source. Okay, Stalnir, what do you want to do? Uh, I'll cast it on the top of my walking stick. Okay, make a cast check. Uh, okay, let's see what we're in for. For sure. Ooh, you made it. Twelve. All One right. hour of light, real time. Okay. So we're marking the time as 10 minutes after. This is when we're starting the event. You'll have until basically 1.40, my time to finish. Okay. 10 minutes after the hour of 11.10, this torch will, the uh, first torch will go out, which Lazo is carrying. Anyone else lighting up some light? No. Okay. Then I'm going to have the rest of you to the initiative. You can sort your order however you like. Just let me know if you want to change the order you're moving around in. So Lazo, you can basically on your turn uh, move to wherever you want to move to and start investigating what you ever, ever you want to investigate. Um, if you're moving a long right. way, you can stop at about 60 feet of movement. 
Uh, what you see with the light lit up is um, rows upon rows of clay statues, each depicting an, about an eight foot tall warrior woman. They are wearing stylized wooden jaguar masks. They have feathered clay spears. They have loincloths. And here's a picture of what they look like. Oops. Um, are they the big star things? Yeah. Do you guys I all see, see a okay. real big picture of a jaguar faced creature? Are they, um, yes. are, are they unique or are they identical? They're roughly identical. They're, you know, definitely individually made, but in the same, right. same, uh, guys. However, right. Got it. Yeah. So Laszlo, what do you want to do? Uh, well, I suppose we should start looking around. I'll, uh, oh, hang on. Right. These little triangle markers. I'll oh, make my that's way a, over here. The triangle markers are debris and such. Okay. So, okay. so Laszlo, you can move, and then you could also do an action if you like, like investigate a statue. Sure, yeah, I'll, I'll look at them. Uh, I heard of golden statues. I'm assuming these are not them. Okay, you look at the statue adjacent to you there. You don't find any secret compartments or any moving arms or anything like that. And next to go is going to be Godfrey. Uh, yeah, I will. Um, uh, I'll just move. Uh, I'll move over to a different statue. Uh, yeah, I'll just move like over here uh, and investigate the statue okay. over here. Similar, nothing special on that one. Next to go will be Drag. Um, okay, I'm going to move. Uh, let's see there and uh, just kind of try to. Can I stay in the shadow over here and kind of stay hidden? Just yeah. in case something happens and keep a lookout. I don't, we already looked. Can I see anything else? Like, can we see the walls? Or are there any? So, yeah, behind, the walls you, or anything? behind you is the rubble that uh, was the cave in. The, the little triangle things on the floor are like rocks and such that have tumbled onto the floor. You can see a wall as such to the east. There's a straight line wall, it looks like, to the east. To the west and to the north, you don't know how far it extends. Okay, and there's no markings or anything on the walls or anything no, like on, on the, the wall that we can see. Nope. Okay. Okay, so you Maybe move there should... and hide, right? Uh, yeah, just kind of keep hidden. Aelin, your turn. Alrighty, I am going to kind of look up. How far does it look like we fell through mm. the sinkhole? Ceiling here looks like it's about twenty feet over your head, and yeah. what has happened is the sinkhole is kind of caved in completely, so it's forming the back wall of the room, which you're up against. You can just see around the corner of it, your party, you see the light of the torch of, uh, of your half-orc Laszlo friend there. Uh, to your west and to your south, to the south is rubble, to the west, you don't know how far it goes. Gotcha. Then I am just going to get my longbow ready and move up to join the others. Okay. All right. Dial near your turn. All right. I just want a better view of things, so I'm going to go two, three, four, five, six. Oh. And you always want to drag your light with yeah. you. Yep. You can drag across both of you to do it at the same time. There you go. Okay. Uh, kind of looking at the statues as I go and curious that one of them might appear to look a little different. Yeah, so, it is yeah. Uh, dotted, but no different than the others. Okay. Uh, um, it took a second move to get there, so I'm assuming yeah. that'll be the done end of my action. Okay. The end of that turn, you notice uh, some movement just out at the edge of your light, uh, both Laszlo and Stalnir. A couple of okay. these statues so seem to have activated um or animated as such and are beginning to move um, so are you they got, moving in a friendly way no they're moving to attack <laughs> oh no so you got one there and one right here okay uh so everyone roll we... initiative oh no <laughs> uh are we fighting or are we running um, do we really have anywhere to run we just fell in here <laughs> uh well, to the west, we don't know how far that goes. Maybe it goes to a That's door? True. Question mark. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can head that way and see. <laughs> he who runs away lives to fight another day. Right. <laughs> First person to act is Godfrey. So Godfrey, lives to run uh, another day. <laughs> you're alerted to the fact that two of these statues are actually taken for, and they're not um, large creatures. Oh. medium-sized creatures oh, phew. <laughs> <laughs> they're eight feet tall so they're pretty large oh, uh, so big. Covenant. yeah and that spear is pretty thick around and they are both taking their spears and moving toward you and they're lowering their spears to stab at you um your turn Godfrey. right uh so yeah i go hey those statues do not look friendly uh what do we <laughs> say we uh beat feet to the to the west here uh and i will take my own advice one two three four five 
uh, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, and I'll just stay at the edge of the light here. Very so good. I'll double move. Very good. I'm just um, going to block out these ones that are just one. Okay, after Godfrey is Stalnir. All right, I am not the lone wolf, so I'm right there with you. Um, one, <laughs> two, three, four, five. There's a light behind the stick, so that's a single move. Make Again, sure to I take your light with you. Yep, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> um, and let's see. Um, there's a light. I've got a light, so I'm going to go ahead and expand our view some more. Um and one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Oh, I went too far. You can back up to where you saw the wall in case you want to okay. deviate it all from what you could see. Gotcha. gotcha. Always good to move one square at a time. Use the arrow keys. Yep, yep you're right. Oh, okay. oh, I have, oh, I have terrible news. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, all right. Well, then let's come up uh, this way. I had three squares. Let's see what we got. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Still terrible news. <laughs> All right. All done? That was all your yes. movement? Yep. Okay, after Stalnir, uh, ooh, the first of the statues. Okay. First of the statues is closest to Stalnir. So this uh, jaguar mast clay statue moves about as fast as a man can move right up onto you and stabs at you with the clay spear. Um, are they moving, like, jerkily, or are they... Um, like They do disconcertingly move. Like, they're not actually, like, human but some sort of oh. animated thing. Uh, anyway, it gets a six to hit, missing you, and it's done. Laszlo, your turn. Uh, are there opportunity attacks in this game? <laughs> there are not. Nope. nope. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, I have to drop my torch to pull out my sword. Um, it stays lit, though, right? It does. Yeah. Can I... Uh, if I pass the bell, and then he can't use his bow. So, All right, I'm going to drop my torch... Uh, I will pull out my sword and swing it at this thing. Okay. Ooh. Uh, 13 to hit. 13. Just glances off its clay skin. Definitely not human. Didn't dig into it like you dig in the flesh. It actually feels like hardened clay. Ooh. All right. Uh, I am going to beat feet. Um, oh, no. Not, not the torch. Okay. I, I run into the shadows. Next to go is Balin. Well, as the old adage goes, we dwarves are natural sprinters. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, two, four, five, six. All right, double move into there, dash into there, and then Dre, your turn. I hate to leave the torch, but I'm not going to go grab it, so. And you can move diagonals, there's just one square. You have to count it as two. Oh, okay. And if you're on a keyboard, if you hit two keys at once, it'll do your diagonal move for you. Ah, okay, all right. So Dre, you're moving, you're going to dash with your second action, with your action? Yes, okay. yes. Uh, so then, once you finish your turn, the next statue goes. Okay. Y'all done, Drake? Yes. Next statue comes alive and closes yeah. on Drake. Stabs okay. him with a spear. Uh, Drake, you miss. You're missed. A six to hit you. Oh, Ooh, thank goodness. All okay. Right. Now, thank, thank a couple bad things are going on in round three, and that is that you notice you're kind of short of breath, even more short of breath than you would be from the terror of these things coming alive and the fear that there's many more of them that could come alive. Uh, but there's something in the air, something kind of a green cloying mist in the air, and you're afraid now it might be somewhat poisonous. So as you guys are adventuring, I'm going to be tracking these poison tokens, and these poison tokens I can kind of use to have bad effects on you. So just know that as the poison, poison tokens start stacking up, bad things might happen. So you got that, poison air. The second thing that's disconcerting is that another one of the statues you see moving in the corner of your eye. Just up here to the north... Uh, if you look north of Stalnir's light, you'll see it. And here, another one of those things right there is alive and kicking. I'll add in the initiative for the next round. Go. And next person to act is going to be Godfrey. So, once again, these things are nothing. They're just tokens for me to track how much poison's yeah. in the air. Uh, okay, so it looks like we may have to actually do something about these statues. <laughs> um, they just keep showing up. Okay. Um... Let's see. What's the initiative order look like? Uh, uh, Laszlo. Uh, all right. Um, I'm going to move over here uh, next to Laszlo. Uh, is diagonal one move? Yes. Diagonal is just one. Okay. One, two, three, four. Uh, and I'm going to cast uh, Holy Weapon on nice. uh, his sword. Right. Click that button. See how it goes. Come on, St. Teragnus. 
Nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. You got it. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> Pass fail, baby. Pass fail. <laughs> For five rounds, Laszlo, your weapon is going to be doing uh, its magic and has. Well, interestingly, Laszlo's magic is already plus one to attack and damage. Um, we'll say it's Do I an give him an, a, another plus one? I don't think it does, but we'll say it for now this time it does. Woo! Okay. Um, and we need to track that. So basically, Laszlo, at the end or the start of each of your turns, count this down. Don't do it the first turn, but every turn after the first turn, count that down. Once that goes down to zero, you are done. Oh, got I don't three. Even know how to else do got that. three. Uh, Stall near your turn. Okay. Um. They're spread out, so that's not... Um, well, let's go ahead and if we're going to do some attacking, um, let's see if some acid does some trick, but I'm going to get into a better defensive position. So we're going to go ahead like that. The statues go. that remain do provide cover. You can move through the squares because they don't really take up all of it. It's just difficult okay. to bring in if you enter a square that is gotcha. a statue. All right. Um, okay. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and cast Acid Arrow. Nice. Um, on this one. Okay. Fire oh, yeah. And let's see. Ba, 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 ba. Oh. Nine, nine plus two is good. Uh, not for a level two spell. I, I, I need nine plus yeah. two to. Oh, God, you're right. Now's a good time to let you know that you guys have, and you all have luck tokens, and you can yep, use I'm a luck token it. to do a reroll. <laughs> I will go ahead and use it. I'm not losing my, my advantage spell on, on attempt one. <laughs> I will on attempt two, though, if that's the case. <laughs> go for it. You made it. Okay. There we go. So that thing strikes go. the clay. It digs into it. It starts burning away at the clay. does two acid to it. Uh, it's going to remain on it as long as you focus. Yep. I would just put a little lightning bolt to indicate focus for you. And then you can keep moving if you have any movement left. And then the statues go. So the first statue to the east there. You see it stomp out the torch, and then you lose oh. sight of it. Okay. Well, they're not mindless. <laughs> well, that was rude. Yeah. <laughs> rude. Then the next statue is the one to the north that just animated. And you guys did well to back up away from it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, but it can move all the way to there and attack poor Dreg with a oh, clay no. spear. Oh, the drag. drag misses, gets missed again. Laszlo, your turn. Lucky Jay. We have been extremely lucky. All right, Laszlo will go up to support Dreg, uh, and he'll, he'll say, uh, uh, retreat to the west. Get away from that other statue. And uh, I will try and cut it down with my sword. All right. Oh, hit oh my I think that's going to hit this time. Now, Solid if the holy, too. The it's going to do one more damage because it's extra holy. Yeah, how do Got I it. mark off a thing on that? Okay, so click your token. Click the circle directly below your token. There'll be a highlight around the orange circle. You just hover over it and type the number four. It drops a one. I did it already for you. You can practice around with it while it's not your turn. Nice hit. You took that thing down to almost destroying it. You can move more if you want. Uh, Bellin, your turn. All righty. I am going to move five. right here. I am going to take a shot with my longbow at the one closest to me. That is going to be a 19 to hit for 8 magical piercing. Oh yeah, nice shot. nice shot. And I am going to shout out to the others. I think we need to head to the northwest. And that'll okay. be my turn. Drake, your turn. Alright, uh, I am going to attack the one uh, to the northeast of me, the one that Laszlo fought. Go for it. With a dagger. Ooh, hit by a mile. Oh, wait, All not by right. mile, but you hit. 16 is a hit, and four points of piercing finishes the thing. All right. One down. Nice. I'm going to uh, retreat back just a bit, just so I'm not in the range of attack of this one to the north of me. Okay, next round. No new things during the fight, so that's nice. Uh, Godfrey, you're uh, Yeah, let's see. I will... Oh, man. Um, let's see. One, two... I'll go one, two, and I'm going to smack this statue with my long sword, hopefully. Oh, no, that doesn't do it. Just I got to actually it. hit the button. There it is. 17 for four. Uh, 17. A hit. Uh, I will then um, tactically advance to the rear. Okay. Stall like there. Your turn. 
So Stalnir, you get a focus check. I think that happens right at the start of your turn. It's a regular spells casting check. If you fail, oh, you don't lose the spell, though. It was on the one that was dead, so... Oh, well, then you don't need to focus. <laughs> <laughs> Do I hear the other statue to the east? Uh, yeah, you heard movement in the darkness to the east of you. Okay. Felt like it was getting okay. closer, so you feel like it's got to be somewhere right on the edge of your light. Yep. You don't know exactly I'm gonna, where. I'm going to shoot for casting web um, over in this area. Okay. Uh, make a, For me, make a wisdom check. Let's see how well okay. you pinpoint where it was where it was moving. Sounds good. Let's see if that can help uh, you. One of my uh, good So click your token, right? click the W7 button. Oh, hey, Okay. So you actually <laughs> heard it circling around this statue, you think. So it's probably okay. between the, the cave-in to the south and that statue that you think it'll approach from. Okay, your web so. is a near size area, right? A six by six area, so, or yep. yeah, six by six. So you could actually go all the way from this, this. I'm sorry, this north statue, all the way down mm -hmm. to the um, cave and web yeah. all that up. Okay, that sounds Two, good. Three. Okay, cast your spell. We'll see if it goes off. Mm, <laughs> no. So web is no longer in your inventory. And web finish, is no longer in my inventory. <laughs> finish your move where you like. Yeah. And then the next statue goes. And I'll, I'll point, I'll mention the sound, like it's coming from behind us. Got it. Are you done moving? I will be in just a second. Okay. You get to take your light with you? Yeah. Oh, I'll back up here. Uh, Godfrey, you hear it approaching before you see it. Well, now you see it a little sooner. Sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you hear far. it approaching. It closes up on you, Godfrey, and tries to stab you with its clay spear. Ooh, oh. this one connects versus your 18 armor class. And yeah. does seven piercing damage to you. Oh, it got me good. <laughs> and the wound is cursed. You cannot heal it until you get out of this poisonous gas. So, not good at all. Okay. Well, after. that's not. <laughs> yeah, that's really bad. Okay, I, now we got so, the one to the north. Uh, I'm going to call out to the people. Just go, heads up. <laughs> the wounds are cursed. <laughs> uh, the statue closes on Laszlo, tries to stab Laszlo. And 11 is a miss on Laszlo. And God, if you don't forget to update your eight points. Should be yeah, seven. I'm trying. Sorry. Uh, da, 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 that nope. was done. Okay, uh, Laszlo, hold on just a second before you do anything. Tell me what you're going to do before you roll any dice. What do you want to do, Laszlo? Okay. Um, I think uh, seeing Godfrey get struck by this spear, I would like to go and uh, try and help him. Uh, so I'll I'll try and, like, you know, snap the, the spear with my sword, you know, as a flavor thing. Attack this uh, one to the south. Here. Okay. Uh, don't roll yet. So move down. And then the uh, the poison gas is getting to you, causing dizzy dizziness and nausea. When you roll your attack, you're going to roll it with disadvantage, and I take away three tokens of poison, meaning there are no current uh, poison effects about to happen. All right, disadvantage on the attack. Yep. Oh, oh no. <laughs> that hurts. That really hurts. Oh. That's just mean, man. <laughs> so, Godfrey, let me help you with your hit points. So, um, thank you. I'm I'm desperately trying. So, you click your token. There's a green yep. circle with a ten on the top left. You click that. Yep. You type minus seven and you hit enter, and there'll be enter. So there you go. Okay, last. Did it one. change? Yeah, you're down to three out of ten. Oh, now. I oh I I don't see it as updated. I still see it as ten out of ten. Sometimes, um, you might have to re reload roll twenty when that happens. Oh, okay. Occasionally. Okay, Laszlo, you move there. You miss with the attack. You can keep moving if you want. Uh, While you're doing that, Balin, you can take your attack. All righty. I am just going to move up one to the north, and then I'm going to fire at the statue directly in front of me. Okay. And that is going to be Ooh, a 27 shot. for six. You finish it. Nice. And then I'm just going to move up to the edge of the light and yell for the others that we really need to find our way out of here. <laughs> After you comes Drag. All right, I'm going to uh, stow my dagger and pull out my short bow. Is that an action to pull it out? Or... No. Nah. Okay. And then I'm going to attack the one there. Okay. Ooh, yeah, nice shot. Three damage. All right. After drag. You can... And everyone, after you take your action, I'm going to move quickly to the next person. But you can move up to, you know, your speed before or after your action. And you don't have to tell me. I can trust you that you can count squares. <laughs> um, and since there's no attack of opportunities, you really don't have to tell me. Um, I'll watch out if there's traps or anything that you might spring. Okay, Drag, you're moving to where you want, into the round. Um, Godfrey, your turn. Okay, and I can't heal this, right? Right. Yeah, no, right. no one's going to work on this. Uh... That is fun. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to attack the statue. Okay. 
uh, before before I move. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen just glances off the clay. Dang. Then you uh, you okay, move. and then I am going to move. It's down the air. Go ahead. We'll try for acid arrow again on the one that's there. Nice. Uh, there two acid go. damage. It's got only two damage. Who okay. you like? And then it's the going. Line. It's going to attack Laszlo with his clay spear. This in Laszlo, your turn. Oh, nice. I, guys, I'm feeling very lucky today. Uh, no disadvantage this time. Come Correct. on, longsword. 16, hit. 9 damage. Uh, right. 10 damage, actually, with the magic. Yeah, 10. Almost got it. Still there, though. Oh. Uh, I shall uh, guard the backs of my allies. Balin, your turn. Alrighty, I'm going to shift to the northeast, and can I make out that uh, enemy statue just at the edge of the light? You can. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to fire with my longbow. 18, 18 for seven. seven. You finish it, and we're out of initiative. Well played. Nice. And uh, we'll go back to the order we had with Laszlo in front. Laszlo, you can go pick up your torch and relight it. We'll give you a new torch. Oh, well, that's very convenient. Yeah. It doesn't I... burn out when they stomp it out. So, uh, Yeah, good. I get out my flint and tinder, quickly light it again, and uh, I'm going to beat feet. we got to get the hells out of here. So move where you want, uh, Laszlo. Up to double your speed. Let's uh, try and find the edge. A door or something. I see a door! <laughs> Actually, no, I don't find the statue, but... You can move up to double your speed. Uh, oh, is it there? I thought I did already. Like 12 squares of movement. <clears throat> oh, yeah, okay. So I make it up to here. Yeah, okay. I'll put Stout near the back since he's got the second light source. It's always good to bracket your lights. Yeah. The leader with one and the trailer with one. Laszlo, Bellin, go ahead. Uh, double move to get up to the Drake, doors for a second. Uh, are we still in the gas bomb? Yes. The poison oh, gas is all filling this whole room. Good question. There's an icon on my on my token. Was that for concentration or? For Stalnir? Yeah, that was. You can take that off. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, Drake, go ahead and move where you want. If you're double moving, just say double move and then move where you want. And If you guys will wait a minute, I'll check the door for traps. Okay, so... Drake. Go up to the door. and. But it's going to take me a... To That's okay. You can go all the way to the door. Yeah, you can go all. Oh, the way. okay. Yeah. When we're in um, exploration mode, you can basically move to anything anyone in the party can see and do something to it. Okay. When someone's going out further than the party's ever been, I limit it to just double. Move. Okay. So, Drag, you go up there. You check that door for traps. There are no traps on the door. That's the good news, Godfrey. Yeah, with you know, I'll cough up a little bit of blood. <laughs> Um, I'll just move up here next to uh, Laszlo. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna check this statue. Okay, nothing on the statue. Style near your turn. Oh, I lose control. Mike might be cutting out or muted. See a light now. There we go. There we Can go. You hear me? Yep. All right, cool. Just um, following? Yeah, yeah, Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, no traps in the door, according to your rogue. Um, Lazo, would you like to open it? I shall. All right. It is now 40 after, which means that we're at our first half hour mark. And the poison's kind of building in all your systems again. So we got... One poison token now. The door is open. Hopefully you can open them yourself. Try it and see if you can open it. Uh, sure, yeah. I, just, I push on it. Just click the click the door icon. There you go. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. You see a hallway. Um, it stretches as far as your light shines to the north. It has um, tezontal walls, which is kind of a really porous volcanic red stone. Um, they depict animal-headed figures hurling spears, gathering corn, erecting ziggurats, and there is um, hundreds of small octagonal cubby holes set into the murals, each displaying a bundle wrapped in corn husks and tied with golden thread. There's so many here, you could definitely stop and search them. Um, as a group, you can make a decision if you want to do that. Each of you will get a roll of die to see what you find, and each time you do as a group, I get to add a poison to it. Okay, so uh, Lazo, you see that on the left and right walls, and you can move up to double move ahead if you like. Uh, well, we've got a couple people trailing behind a little bit. They can keep... It. So, you set the pace, they can always catch up to you. I see, alright. Yeah. Uh, I asked the group, do we want to check these things out or we want to get out of this poison? We're here for treasure. Yeah, I mean, we're... I mean, oh, I let me tell you what you're here for, yeah. Was, it should be pretty clear from the background, but you're basically here at the test of the uh, Queen of the Black Coast. To find the golden jaguar, Princess Noctily, the uh, you know other planar artifact, basically that's somewhere in these ruins, 
that's one order of business. Maybe the first order of business is to get out of the poison, of course. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The hallway Maybe. is unfortunately also still filled with poison. <laughs> okay, Lazo, how far you want to go? Or do you want to check? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go up to here. Okay. Yeah, Did the there. party vote to check out? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I um, we should check. We should get. I mean, we should all get at least one, right? Like one round. Do you want to do it? Yeah, yeah I mean, right. Um, all right. Just to clarify, <laughs> it does mean lingering in the poison longer too. It does. I'm what much more little... afraid of my debtors than I am poison. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, well said. <laughs> okay, then everyone can move into the hallway, and everyone can roll the d10 for me. Just roll a straight d10. Higher roll, the better. Eight's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> if you click on the That's thing that looks much. like a D20 on the left, you can just click D10 and it'll roll for you. There you go. Five. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four, five. That's all of you. All eight, all five of you find various bundles full of painted teeth, baby oh, and otherwise. Oh, my God. Worthless glass beads, wooden figurines, papyrus books. Nothing of any note or value. And now you have two poison That's tokens. You. Do you want Please. to uh, do Hello. another round of searching? Yeah, I'm good on teeth. I'll, I'll take them. Didn't you say that they have, like, golden thread around them? Is that valuable at all? No, there's nothing of value in what you looked so far. Oh, all yeah, right. But there's hundreds more if you want to keep searching. Also, um, let's backtrack real quick. I forgot to tell you that one of the um, wooden mask-wearing clay um, statues also wore, in addition to the wooden mask, a, uh, a circlet. A clay circlet bearing an embossed image of a Titanic woman sitting at a kiln the size of a watchtower. Um, you guys can always scroll up to the top of the map, and I'll include these things up there for your reference. This uh, circlet is a circlet of the Clay Titans. Um, it has oh, wait, five... We found like a magic item? Yeah, it has five charges. The wearer can spend charges to create effects listed below a power, maybe used more than once. There are not enough charges to use every power once. You can shape clay, raise clay barrier, or petrify. So, would anyone like to wear the circlet of the clay titan? So it will take one slot. Lazo, you probably have the most slots. Uh, I have no free slots. Oh, never mind. If someone wants free... to take some of my food, I will put the thing on. I've got a free slot. Um... Okay. Lazo, you putting it on? Yeah. Uh, does someone want a pack of rations? Either that or, like I said, Stalnir has got a free slot. Oh, give it to the wizard, 100%. Okay. You want to put it on Stalnir? Sure. Okay, you got that. You can refer to it up above. See what it does. It's got some pretty cool things. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so now, do you want to search any further, or are you ready to press on? I think we should press on. Let's, Let's get the ales out of here. This okay. pawn is useless. Up ahead, you see a cave-in, a side passage that's caved in. Um, there's a corpse there sitting by the cave-in. Um, it is human in proportions but its shoulders and chest and head have been burned away and the skull is coated in melted gold so that's buried in the rubble right up here the melted gold's worth some some treasure if you want to take that so you want to do lasso uh give me some tough choices here gm uh <laughs> didn't we hear about like they curse people and turn them into golden statues or something I don't know. Uh, does anyone have a free slot? That's what I'll ask first. Got a free slot. All right, I'll I'll pick up the skull and toss it back to you. <laughs> okay, gold skull taken with worth about probably around twenty gold pieces worth of treasure. Oh, oh, oh thank you. Okay, that was Lazo. He grabbed the skull. Um, anyone else of the remaining people want to do anything before you press forward? Obviously, this place has traps. That guy was crushed by him, so don't get too far ahead, Lazo. Okay, Lazo. Feel free to take the lead. Lazo and party, you can basically head all the way to the end of the passage to the north. You'll see that you'll find some doors to the north at the end. All right. The doors look uh, like you could um, probably open them easily enough. So Boy, can... thief, get up here. <laughs> all right. Drag, did you want to search it first? Yes, please. Okay, no traps. The doors are safe. I guess I need to be up there. All right. Do. Let's crack them open, see what's okay. in here. You see across the chamber a glow, kind of a, a low bluish glow. Looks like it's coming from a brazier to the north. Um, there are polished black marble monoliths right in front of you. They loom 
large with the image of jaguar-masked women in body paint standing barefoot atop piles of bones. Uh, the pale flame burning to the north. There is this colossal sarcophagus shadowed between your light and the pale light to the north. This thing is enormous, big enough to hold a giant. All right, right so ominous. <laughs> you can move into the room as far as you want, Lazo. Uh, is the gas uh, still present? Yes, it is still present. Yeah, I'm going to uh, ask our thief to have a look at the sarcophagus. Okay. Lazo, you can um, move to where you like. And real quick, while you do that, I need to do a... Uh, well, I mean, let me get the rest of you going. Let me do a random counter check. Here. D6. One is bad. You're good. Okay, so Lazo, you can see there are multiple columns. Um, at least eight that you can see from floor to ceiling. You're right on the edge of the sarcophagus in the side of the room. The dotted gray circle to the north is the pale brazier that's burning. Everyone else uh, can start going to the room. Let Dre go next. Dre, go ahead. Is the sarcophagus the rectangular space? It is, is? yeah. I'll move so, to that and check yeah. for traps. This giant sarcophagus is actually open to the top. Oh, and okay. you can kind of look over the top of it. You see it's filled with human skeletons. They are stained green, the same green as the poison gas that's in the air, that's permeating the air. Um, Does the gas see, seem to be emanating from the no, sarcophagus? Okay. No, no, it does not. It's just everywhere. Um, one of the skeletons clutches a scroll in its hands. Um, uh, next to go is going to be Bellum. And there were no traps? Sorry. No traps. Okay. I am going to move on into the room and just kind of take up by one of these pillars with my longbow at the ready, just in case. Godfrey. Um, oh boy. So you can move uh, okay. anywhere uh, you can see and do whatever you want. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I'll move up here uh, next to, you know, in between Laszlo and, um, uh, and what are the pillars here again? They are um, polished black and marble. Etched with a looming image of a jaguar-masked woman in body paint standing barefoot atop piles of bones. Okay. Uh, I'm, I mean, so if I, I mean, does it look like there's any, if I inspect it, like, is there any, did I find anything hidden or Yeah, you want to inspect that like pillar? That? Yeah, I'm going to inspect okay. the pillar. No hidden compartments that you can find. Next okay. to go is Stalnir. Okay. Feel free to move anywhere in the room, Stalnir, as your yes. action, and then do something after you do. Yeah. Oh, kind of coming up here, taking a look in the sarcophagus also. Is this, how tall is the sarcophagus? So the edge of it's about uh, four feet tall. Okay. All and right. it's about Stand a foot about thick. Uh, if there had been a lid, it would have been impossible to move, you think. It's full of these sure. uh, stained green skeletons um, filled with them. And one of them touches a scroll. Mm. Is that scroll within reach? No, you'd have to climb in to get to it. <laughs> Couldn't do a little poking with the stat to the stick to move things. Got to climb in. I gotcha. Okay. Back mm. to Laszlo. What do you want to do, Laszlo? Uh, I have a grappling hook. Could I try and, like, lasso <laughs> the scroll towards us? Yeah. We'll say you do. So the All skeleton right, clutching the scroll, you uh, lasso to the edge to where you can get it reached. And then next to go is drag. Um, I'll grab the scroll. All right. Uh, if you want to read it, just let me know. I'll tell you what it says. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It. It's a scroll of protection from felines. Copy it up above your guys' reference. Um, see, it says cancel one attack or harmful effect created by one creature that is wholly or part feline. So you can use it basically as a reaction freely. Uh, as long as you have that scroll on your person, it'll stop an attack that's um, been successful or harmful effect that's been successful. There you go, mage. Do you want to carry I that, Drake? Read those. I can't read magic here, mage. And hand it off to All right. to Stalnir. Stalnir, do you have a spot open? Uh, for a scroll, I'll make one open. <laughs> okay. Got it. Um, yeah. Okay. So Stalnir, you go grab that. Who hasn't gone yet? Bellin, what do you want to do? I am going to move on up to the coffin and look in and um, kind of look over to Dreg. You fancy going for a bone swim? See if there's anything more in there. Uh, the skeletons look awful green, mate. I don't think I want to get in there. And got uh, uh I'm going to move up uh, Move up here. Uh, can I see that, whatever that light source is? Yeah, the north? so you can see a brazier there with a, uh, a pale flame burning within it. Uh, how close can I move to that? You can go all the way to it. All right, I'm going to move up here. Uh, and check check out the, that brazier. Okay. 
Uh, with your priestly knowledge, uh, you suspect powerful magic cut. You're going for this brazier. It has undead repelling properties. It functions Ooh. as a constant turn undead. So it'd be a safe place to be as long as that uh, flame is burning. Do I think if we put out our torch and relit our torch with that fire, do I think it's the fire or something in the brazier? Uh, probably the brazier. Oh, damn. Uh, <laughs> and it, it looks like it's, someone bolted it to the floor. It's very, very heavy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a big right. stone brazier. Okay, uh, yeah, so I, I, le I let everybody know, I'm like, hey, this might be a good fallback if we are swarmed by skeletons. Very good. Uh, is it, is the, does the fire have any sort of, like, poison cleansing nope. effect on it the air? Not. No, okay, great. No, it does not. <laughs> okay, I'm doing a catch-up roll on Watering Monsters because I ever got on a previous turn. Okay, so now we're back to one out of every three. Da, da, da. And next to go is Laszlo. Uh, yeah, I am going to... Uh, da, 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 da. So does it look like there's a wall behind the brazier? Yeah, there is. Uh, yeah, it looks pretty okay. solid up there. All right. Uh, I'm going to go over to the east and uh, have a look. Oh, there's a door. I'm, I'm stuck. Oh, I'll, dra I'll drag you out of there. There you go. I'm, st I'm stuck in a filler. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Drag you smaller. There you go. Yeah, so yeah, you can go all the way to the door if you want. Oh, my light source has gone out. Where'd it go? Uh, I'll grab another one. No worries. And you guys can also, if you ever need to, grab them. I think you can control them up above. There's your torch. Back, oh, there we go. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay. So you go over the door? Yes. Okay. Uh, then, um, Drake. All right. I'm going to move. So if he calls out that there's a door, I'm going to move to the door and check it for traps. Okay. So. No traps. Balin. Come on, priest. We're heading out. And I'm going to follow. After Balin uh, yeah. is Godfrey. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm following them. And then Stalnir. Anybody want this torch I'm going to get rid of? Uh, I don't have any space. Uh, I mean, I can take it and dump my used torch. Yeah, go for it. So we have a new torch lit as of uh, 57? 12 p.m. here. Right. <laughs> new torch at 57. All right. All right. I will crack this door as well and step into the room. What do I see? You see in this room... Uh, painted clay figures... Um, the size of children standing throughout uh, the tomb, the the, four, the circles that you see, are these uh, these clay figures the size of children this time, instead of eight feet tall like you saw with the ones in the entry room. Um, that looks like there's other chambers in all directions. And you see bare footprints faintly visible in a thin layer of ash covering the floor. The footprints head to the north chamber. What would you like to do, Lasso? Uh, those four uh, circles will, are clay figures the size of children. Yeah, I, I will inform everyone. I'll just go and look in the in the tunnels, kind of like peek around the corner. Okay. All right. After Laszlo Drake, uh, I'm going to move in and check out these uh, clay sculptures. Of the ch this. They're not okay. of children, right? So they're children size. Children size. They're uh, yeah. They look like fat village villagers, um, fat stubby villagers, but about the size of children. Wearing the normal clothing of um, the people of this area, and you determine that the head can be unscrewed, like they are in effect all big, big uh, containers. Okay. And as okay. you're making that determination, the rest of you can move to where you want to be standing as he's investigating that, because <laughs> something's about That's to happen. That's ominous. No. <laughs> no, I think I should set something off, guys. <laughs> Once you're happy where you're standing, roll initiative. Yeah, I'll stay there. As you are starting to investigate the room and look at these clay figures, um, all of a sudden... Is, is, is safely home a valid move option? <laughs> <laughs> fire beetles begin to pour out of the walls oh, here. God. Two swarms Ugh. of fire beetles emerge from cracks in the walls. And begin uh, swarming uh, onto you guys. So everyone roll initiative. We already did. Now let me roll for them. And, Air in here fresh? Uh, no, still poisonous. Oh. Okay, the first person to act is going to be Drag. Drag was quick. They saw those swarms appear. Yeah, well, got quick in the dead. Uh, I am going to move quickly away from this one swarm. Uh, can you? Can I climb on top of one of these? Uh, 
extent are they flat on top? You can. Like, you don't know that they'd offer you much effect because the swarms are halfway flying, halfway crawling. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, there, then never mind. All right. I'm just going to move behind one. So I'm going to move. Let's see. And then I'm going to, for what it's worth, I'm going to fire an arrow at the swarm over to my left. Okay. I don't know that. Uh, Ooh, eight miss. It's hard, hard to hit individual beetles. <laughs> the first swarm is going. Do the beetles look undead at all? Uh, they look like luminescent beetles that burn from within with pyre flame. Oh, that doesn't sound undead. No, that sounds good, doesn't it? Okay. So the one to the south goes first, and it closes on Stalnir. Oh, and sorry, oh no. It's gonna, Not the wizard. It's going to bite your poor wizard. The first bite is only a 9 to hit. The second bite is a 20 to hit. Oh. It does only okay. one piercing damage to Stalnir, but it's going to burn up one of the scrolls you have, one of your magic scrolls. Oh, no. Unless you can make a 15 dex check. To avoid that. Oh, ironic. Let's roll up a random magic item that makes me immune to fire. Burn everything he owns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this um, is uh, this is biting and stuff, but it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. but no. Uh, um, you said a, a I think that item will also protect your scroll. So your um, your Drake, gall or gallstone. Yeah, the Drake stone there. Gallstone, the Drake stone. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that protects you. Uh, the, okay. the biting damage you do take. One point of biting is piercing damage, not yeah. fire. Okay, okay, so the swarm's done on you. The next swarm. Is going to go after Godfrey and oh, try and bite no. you, Godfrey. Uh, How do I have an 18 AC? And get hit. <laughs> get hit. <laughs> hit for one piercing and missed on the second. So one piercing damage. Got it. And that can be healed. So you can get back up to your max of three hit points. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> um, let's see. That was the two bites from that guy. Do you have any scrolls on you, Godfrey, at all? Uh, no. Okay. And you are safe. Stall me your, your turn. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, well, let's go ahead and um, see how well. Hey, you know what? Let's go. I'm right here. Let's go for a dagger attack. Da, 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 da. 13 with your dagger. Trying to stab some beetles. That connects. Does okay. um, two points of damage to the swarm, killing a couple, skewering a couple of beetles. Yeah. Okay. Move I'll where move. you want if you want to move anywhere. And then next to go is Laszlo. Uh, I will say, uh, get back, <laughs> Godfrey. We can't have our priest going down. And I will uh, swing my sword at these things, dropping my torch at my feet. Got it. Uh, oh, yeah, nine nice. damage. You cut a with, uh, <laughs> blistering swath through these things. They spark and flame and burn up and die, killing about half the swarm with that swing. After Laszlo, Godfrey. Uh, yeah, I will uh, furiously swat at myself uh, trying to get these things off me, and I'm going to go ahead and swing at it with my long sword before okay. stepping back. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're too disconcerted. Missing. Yeah. Move and then I'm going to go ahead and step back. Ellen, your turn. All righty. I meant to ask this earlier, but uh, when uh, with uh, arrows, can they be recovered after a fight, or are they considered lost? Assume half can. Got it. All right, then I am going to fire at the swarm to my west. Ooh. Ooh, miss. Yep, and then I'm just going to move. After Bellin, that was the end of that first round. And Drake, your turn. All right, going to shoot an arrow at the ones to my west. Nope. Ooh, miss. And then swarm that was on Stalnir, follows by in Stalnir, crawling over the, the oh. child sized bases, biting at Stalnir, trying to burn up that scroll ineffectually. Hitting one time for three piercing stall near. Then okay. we got the swarm attacking on Laszlo. Multi attack with a bite. Um, 16. 16 hits, yeah. Uh, my AC is 16. One piercing. Do you have any uh, scrolls on you, Laszlo? Nope. Okay. The second bite missed. So you took one damage. Uh, that swarm's done. Stall near your turn. All right. Let's go ahead. Had enough of the uh, getting too close. So let's come back up over here. And then I will cast my um, acid arrow. Nice. North or south? Swarm. Uh, the one I was already attacking. The one you were attacking the south? Okay, of. so yeah. two acid to those, and you're concentrating on that. Next to go is Laszlo. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to try and cut this thing down that's next to me. Oh, oh no. 11. 11 would be a miss. Yeah, uh, I will move in front of Godfrey. Okay. And Try and entice them with my uh, with my rations. <laughs> Your turn, Godfrey. Uh, okay, I am going to. Uh, I'll just back. I'm going to back up uh, up to 
here, and then I'm going to cast uh, Cure Wounds on Stalnir. Go for it. Eleven. Success. Do. Five points back, Stalnir. Ooh, more That's than all that. he needed. <laughs> uh, after Godfrey, Bellin. Knock draw loose to the southwest. Southwest. Eighteen, 18 hit for seven. seven. After Bell and Drag. Maybe some water on these things. They're fiery. And then I'm going to shoot an arrow at the one uh, to my left. There we go. Ooh, what a shot. You skewer through like three or four of the things. The swarm disperses. Move where you like in your turn. In the other swarm's turn. Good. The other swarm, it disperses also back into the walls and is gone. And we're out of combat. Just out of curiosity, does Acid Arrow happen on their turn or your turn? Like the continuous damage? It's on yeah, his my turn. turn. After world concentration. Yeah. Gotcha. You okay. you had the south one acid arrow, didn't you? You did. Yeah. So do a, do a concentration <laughs> check. See if you kill them all, just oh, to make sure okay. they don't come back. Yeah. Four more. Yep. Okay. Well done. Okay. Uh, now we're at a combat. Last though, what do you want to do? Uh. Okay. Was there something in those heads? <laughs> well, there's one. He right never in front of looked me. in. He never looked in that first one. Well, let's have a quick peek around. See uh, what we've got over to the east here. Uh, more of the same. And uh, each of the circles is a little clay, child-sized figurine. The two gray slabs you see there, those are limestone slabs set into the center of the wall, depicting women in feathered crowns stringing teeth onto necklaces. Uh, Lasso's done. Um, Dre, go ahead. I'm going to check this clay pot in front of me uh, for any traps or anything Okay. before I open it. Roll for me a D20, please. Just straight D20. D20. No traps on it. Oh, okay. No traps. All right. Now just roll straight D20. Sorry. There we go. All right. Um, it contains uh, damp ash. Yay. Filled, filled with damp ash. Mm. Okay. After last little drag. Guys. After drag, uh, Godfrey. Uh, damp with what? Yeah, that's, that's all I'm wondering. <laughs> well, really it's good. all kind of cool. it's all kind of misty in here, and oh, humidity, jungle, humidity. really high humidity. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, huh. uh, okay. So the 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 statues in here depict depict women stringing teeth. No, <laughs> they are the size of children. Uh, basically, fat villagers looking. No, no. The, it, where where Laszlo is. Oh, um, those are set in the center of the walls to put women in feathered crowns, stringing teeth onto necklaces. And we found teeth earlier? Uh, you did find some teeth earlier, yeah. In the long hallway with all the octagonal chambers, you found yeah, it. About the- found some teeth. Huh. Okay. Huh. Uh, all right. I am going to, uh, I'll move in here and inspect this, the one up, the one okay. up here. No secret compartments or anything special about it. Ellen, your turn. Okay. All righty, I'm going to head in here, and I'm going to head here and open up this uh, statue jar. All right, All right. Uh, damp earth in that one, nothing else. Got then it. Next is Stelnir. Stelnir, just before your turn starts, your light spell goes off. Oh, okay. We're on that time already. Yeah. What do you okay. want to do on your turn? I'll do a light spell again. All right, <laughs> cast that light spell for me. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Well then. No more lights for you. You can move to how your speed. That's into okay. your turn. Well, and then I got, ba- I got a backup. That's that rounds over. That's round two. Lasso, your turn. Uh I guess I'll have a look at this um thing over here. This okay. You find no secret pack. compartments or anything like that. After Laszlo Drake. Ooh, I am in pitch darkness, so <laughs> you can use your arrow keys to move. On the ball. <laughs> I'm trying to, yeah. <laughs> I'm still not seeing anything. Uh, do you want to go south, west, east, or north? I'll move you. Uh, I'm going to go. Uh, I was kind of moving towards the southeast okay. and then moving to that passage. So yeah. just trying now to I, find the light. You should be able to see yourself, I think. Can I see? can, yes. I can see a little bit of light there. there you yes. Go. Now you're free to go after that. Oh, that was the problem. I didn't have my, wasn't clicking my pointer. What do you want to do, Drag? Uh, I'm, I'm going to come up here and check this. Um, uh, a jar to the north statue okay. yeah the statue right up here unscrewing that north. you find damp damp ashes damp ash more. again okay yeah god for your turn uh all right um i'm gonna cast light okay make your cast check on, on my uh i'll cast on my shield okay Ooh. well there goes that <laughs> no light spell for you 
after Godfrey, uh, you can move your speed to Godfrey Bell in your turn. All righty. I am going to light my torch and uh, look to the priest and wizard. One of you want to carry this in the rear? You can. Do you want to carry a spell in here? Did we get it here again? I'm sorry. I just did some. Torch. Do you want to carry a torch? Sure, I can carry okay. the torch. All right, Bellin, you light the torch, give it to him. You can move your speed. Stall near your turn. Okay. Well, while folks are checking things out okay, a little so bit, I'll come down the hallway. Second torch is going to go off at 12, 13. That's all. Stall. All right. You see a little bit more of the same stall near. You can move up to one of those and do something. I don't generally go into rooms by myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, then after that, that's into that round. Let me roll for Wandering Monster. Maybe it's a good idea. You didn't go in there by yourself. <laughs> nope, no wandering monster. Lasso, your turn. I will take the lead. Come in here. Okay, more of the same. You move to something and do something. Uh, Yeah, I'll check out this mural. The mural to these there. You find no secret compartments or doors there. Uh, after Lasso, Drake. And these murals are the same ones as the ones uh, they are putting yeah. teeth on necklaces. Yep. Depicting women in feathered crowns stringing teeth onto mm. necklaces. All right, um, I'll move in there where Laszlo is and check one of the uh, uh, one of those statues, see if they're all full okay. of ash. That one there to your east is full of ash. Godfrey, your turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to check the northern. Okay. Uh, that statue, one there is full statue. of ash. Bill, in your turn. I'm going to move on into the room. Okay. And going to check... This one right here. That one is full of ash. Stall near your turn. That's for checking. Uh, I'm assuming this one down below hasn't been checked yet. Uh, so. Which one? Nope. That one there has, I think. It has. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Those are just poison tokens. Yeah, I, I like the reminder yeah. that we're constantly being poisoned while we're looking through statues. <laughs> <laughs> Stall near. You want to do anything? Uh, just gonna move again to scab about. Okay. The eleven ten. Um. Mark has passed, so one more poison token. And Stalner, you see some like water, shallow water, and a big chamber with a col column to the south. Um, okay, that's it for that round. Next round, Lazo. I'll check out this. Nice. Oh wait, am okay. I stepping into water? Is it deep? Shallow. It's shallow, shallow water. Yeah. Okay. So Lazo, yeah, I'll, you, I'll walk through it. Yeah. Come on in, and I think the water's fine. Go to wherever <laughs> you want to go to in the room. <laughs> So uh, pause there for a second. For Let me I'll tell you what you see in there real quick. <laughs> okay, so the pools of water are shallow, filled with brackish water that drips from the sagging ceiling. Uh, that is it, basically, that you've seen so far. After Laszlo, Drake. Did you say water's dripping from the ceiling? It is, Drake. Cover those torches, boys. Oh, yeah, that's smart. What do you want to do, Drake? I'm going to move right in here by this pillar and okay. uh, just kind of check the pillars there okay what did you see no oh, secret there's... compartments in the pillars okay. godfrey your turn okay your turn godfrey uh let's see i am going to move yeah i'll just move into the room here okay after godfrey bellin i'm going to follow and um as i'm doing that thinking back to before we fell into the sinkhole i know we were heading towards the ziggurat what like cardinal direction was the ziggurat from us from the sinkhole it was north of you and you were maybe 200 feet from it okay i think we may be going the wrong ways guys and i'm just going to double move after bell and stall near oh, yeah good call there Ooh, uh, it's back you have a stall near you see something yep when yep. you get to there i think you'll see it uh, one more square to the left da, 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 da. one more square to the left. Yeah, okay so stall near's token or stall near's light starts reflecting off something enormous to the southwest of you to the southwest of you, you see another, you know, low pool of water, another column. And emerging from that pool of water is a enormous snail <laughs> with ruin and a ruin etched shell. It has multiple flails where you'd expect the snail's eye, talks, eye stalks to be uh, looking like they're ending in like murderous flail heads. Uh, its shell is etched in um, in ruins, and it starts sloughing toward you. Flail is flailing like it's going to be smashing you when it gets to you. So roll initiative, everyone. Bolt out, boys. Out three. Oof. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice job. And sort that. First person to act is going to be Lazlo. Before you act, Lazlo, 
as the thing gets closer, you see this is Iconatol, Iconyadol, Yadol, the Devourer, one of the Star Eater's servant demigods, manifesting as an elder flail snail, devouring relics of civilization that oppose the Jaguar princess. Your turn, we need Lazo. a sacrificial dagger. Your turn, Lazo. <laughs> Does anyone All right. have one? Uh, it's been the old this was, yeah, so we, we need a sacrificial dagger to cut out its heart or something. Is that right? That's right. So, okay, let's go find that did, first. Yeah, well, if someone has a dagger, all we have to do is sacrifice something with it, right? And then, in, or does it have to be a spe- I, I bet it's a special dagger. You're right, it's probably a special <laughs> dagger. Um, yeah, you, you guys want to run? <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Do well, I, do, wonder- I do believe I heard I think we're going the wrong direction anyways. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're saying you're you're asking, do do you want to run to the little puff of smoke that used to be me? <laughs> <laughs> am I am I able to um uh put my torch down, throw a javelin and pick my torch back up? Is is that something that I could do? Uh no. You have to stay there and pick it up at the start of your next turn. Then that I shall do. Okay. And um, 19 to hit. I throw a javelin at it. Okay. Uh, That's a good hit. Let me tell you some stuff here. The thing hits its carapace and just barely nicks it. Looks like it took two damage from the attack. Um, Now, you know something more with that first attack. You know that this thing, um, its shell is giving it massive protection. Um, It'll only take half damage from any non-bludgeoning attack. However, any bludgeoning attack may crack his shell and deal double damage. However, if you um, if you hit its shell with bludgeoning attacks or you attack it with bludgeoning attacks, you have a one in three chance of shattering one of the potions it has swallowed. It has swallowed two random potions. If the potion is shattered, it will benefit from it as if it has had quaffed it. Unshattered potions can be recovered. So, Legendary does double damage, but could smash a potion. Anything else does half damage. And you've taken your attack. You can still move, you just gotta leave the torch behind. Do you wanna move? I will stand here here for now. Okay, after Laszlo comes, it it will uh, close on you, having hit it with your your javelin. Multi-attack with two flails swinging, one on Laszlo. 11's a miss, second one Laszlo. 20 to hit Laszlo for 9 damage. Ouch! But then he clubs you. It's done. Balin, your turn. So, again, Balin, it resists all damage but bludgeoning. It takes double damage from bludgeoning. Uh, to quote a great movie, and now for my next impression, Jesse Owens, and I am going to book it. <laughs> all right, Balin, double moves away, and then next to go is Drake. Uh, Drake will shoot it with a short bow, and then run, and then follow Balin. So. Okay, fire away. Uh, nope, he won't. Lance is off. Move your speed. Stall near your turn. So even something like uh, Acid Arrow falls into the same category as far as... Yeah. All damage except okay. legending is halved. Okay. All right. Well, then, I'm not going to waste the risk on that one. Lose my spell. So, uh, adios. Okay. <laughs> double moving away. God for your turn. Yeah. You can double move. You don't have to stop there. Three, four. Yeah. <clears throat> I am going to cast Cure Wounds on Laszlo. Okay. And then I will move away. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. it healed real good. Oh, wow. Baby. Perfect. <laughs> Great. Beautiful. <laughs> Round is over. Laszlo, your turn. God for you can move. Yeah, uh, I am feeling healthy, but I'm also feeling scared. I will scoop up my torch and run away. Okay, it retreats away. You can go back to the room you're in there. Uh, you're back to out of com- out of combat and back to Laszlo. What do you want to do, Laszlo? You move into the next chamber. Do something there. Do something in here. Let's uh, let's explore this chamber to the west. Okay, and you can do something in there. So you see another one of the uh, limestone blocks to the west wall. Sure. Same as I'll, all the rest. I'll have a look in this little statue that's next okay. to me, I guess. Nothing in that statue, except more ash. Balin, your turn. Alrighty, going to follow and call out to the others what I realized a few turns ago, that when we were heading towards the ziggurat before the sinkhole, we were heading north, so I think we need to keep going north if we're going to find a way out of here and into the ziggurat. Uh, Dre, your turn. Alright, I'm going to move. And... Um... You can move anywhere you want, but that you can see and do something. Okay. You don't have to. You don't um, have to follow movement rules while you're exploring. I'm just gonna move into the room with Laszlo. Okay. Then Godfrey. I will. Uh, so are we gonna? Are we heading north then? Sounds like. Are there any exits in that room? 
Uh, there's a path north here, right? Yep, there is. Okay. Then after you come Stalnir. Okay. Let's go into the road there if there's a path. After Stalnir is Laszlo. North it is, lads. So you've been there, so you can keep going to the next chamber you want to go to and do something there. Right. If, if something should north. happen, I will let the party catch up with you before anything bad happens. Um, you see three and more of the way. little um, little statues, but you see one thing odd. Let's see here in this chamber. So you see the faint um, footprints through the ash that went north from the previous chamber come toward the eastern um, eastern plinth on the east wall there, and that plinth is different than the others in that um, it's not limestone, but rather clay. We have a thing that shapes clay. <laughs> All right, so you can put your guy next to that. Everyone else can move up into the room. Um, Bellin, what do you want to do when you get into the room? Might be muted if you're talking, Bellin. Oh, sorry. Just going to move up there, get my bow and arrow ready, just in case something ungodly like that snail comes out when we shape the clay. Drake. Drake. Uh, Drake's going to... It's the, Which one is the clay one? The eastern one. one. Eastern one? Okay. I'm going to check it for traps. No traps. Got free. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be back here um, with Bellin, uh, shield up and uh, ready. And last not least, Stalnir. So the others are still and the one to the east is clay. Correct. And we already know there's a room on the other side of this that we came from, correct? That's up to you. Um, yeah. I think so. Okay. What are you guys thinking? I got Let's a hammer. This... <laughs> <laughs> Circle. Um, I will go uh, use, ahead. Uh, use, use the amulet. Yeah, I, I will focus on the, the the circlet there and place my hands on the clay and attempt to um, shape the clay down to you know maybe uh, flatten it. Okay. Oh, go full. Go full. Uh, you find a secret madness. passage beyond it. Okay. Heading east. All right. That's the end of that round. Next to go is Laszlo. All right. I'll lead the way. So you can move up to double your move. Everyone who just wants to follow can move behind him. Then we'll roll it a water monster check. Are there any more footprints in here? You said they, they led up to the... It went through the ash well, up to that opening, but there's not a lot of ash on the ground here, so no footprints here. No okay. wandering monsters. Uh, so back to you, Laszlo. Let's keep going. Move up to double your speed, Laszlo. Everyone can follow. Uh, still won't, no wandering monsters. Go ahead, Laszlo. Move double your speed again, if you like. No okay. elevation change or anything that we recognize? Not that you can recognize. Again, no, no wandering monsters. No change in the air quality? No change in the air quality, still poisonous. Uh, no wandering monsters. And then one more move, Lazo. One more double move. That's Some uh, pooling water. water on the ground there. Uh, nothing abnormal about it. It's just a few inches deep. And wandering monster check on this one. We're going to get. You guys have been lucky so far. No wandering monsters at all. Still lucky. Okay. Next round, Lazo. Move up to something you see and investigate. So you come to the back of what must be a secret door. Uh, uh, actually, can I check out the wall where that water is coming at? Is that Lazo talking? Uh, sorry, it's Godfrey. Godfrey, yeah, yeah. Uh, you like don't where find that it. water is, just like yeah. look at the wall. Like, is it? Yeah, you don't find anything there. Okay, just a leaky wall. Yeah, just a leaky wall. Like my basement. Okay, uh, Lazo, you can open that secret door if you want. I don't have a thing. There's no way to yeah for you to open it, but you want to open it? Yeah, I'll try like okay. pushing on it or see if there's a switch. Yeah, I'm gonna move you guys all through it because I don't have it set up to move through by you individually. Okay, so you open it, you move through it. Let me tell you what you see on the other side, and then you can still do your action. I tell you what you see. Okay. So you see four kneeling stones set into the floor, hewn from some hard, translucent substance. There's one right by you, and there's three more as well. Um, the far corner of the room, uh, kind of in the shadows, but you'll see it here pretty soon, is um, this disconcerting obelisk. It is. Oh, well, that's not good. <laughs> that's bad. This monolith, this monolith is a disquieting is jumble hurt. of human, beast, serpent, and bird feathers. Uh, there's a painted skull at the center of it, top center of it. Then, in addition to that, you see in the south of the chamber, and you guys can all move in the center of the chamber so your light lights up what you see here. In the south of the chamber, you see a boulder, a huge boulder set into the south corner, made of glittering stone, its surface is pockmarked like the surface of the moon. And set into the center of the boulder is a two-pupiled jade eye. Made actually out of jade, it looks like. Then, uh, and you guys actually have it stepped in the middle here. I just had you move there to see what you can see. The center of the room, 
in the middle of the four kneeling stones is um, the floor is kind of, it almost looks a little darker than the stone all around. And it's almost like you could swear it's translucent a little bit, but you can't see through the translucency. Okay, so that's what you see. Four kneeling stones, uh, obelisk to the west, uh, boulder to the south with jade, two pupil jade eye in it, and a door to the north. So the center looks like it's made of the same stuff the the kneeling stones are? The kneeling stones, they're made out of a different substance. It is also oh. translucent, but you can definitely see through them. The floor looks like it's, you can almost make out some translucence to it, but but it's like fleeting and you can't really see through it. Oh, okay. Oi, Drake, what do you think of this? Well, put the line a little closer. Take a look at this. Take a look. Okay, Laszlo, you can go take a look at the the um. Yeah, the boulder. I want to make sure there's no you know traps or anything before I take it. <laughs> okay, make an intelligence check for me, please. Oh, this will be great. Yeah, no <laughs> traps. Should be fine. <laughs> fine. <laughs> oh, I was gonna check it for traps, but okay. You can still. Oh, okay. All right. Let's wait on my I haven't turn. taken it yet, so yeah. you can, if you want, on your turn, you can Go have a little too. <laughs> okay, I'll move up to it and check it for traps since he's got the light closer okay. to it. In fact, everyone make for me an intelligence check. Okay. Oh, God. And... <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, 13 for Godfrey. Oh. Not too bad. <laughs> well, it's actually only a 13. 13, that is not too bad, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 13. 13. None, of you, none of you see any danger to the, to the moon. You should be able to pry that jade eye out, no problem. I I grab it. Okay. You got a jade two pupiled eye worth eight hundred and fifty gold. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Nice. There'd be a lot of carousing tonight. That is a lot of oh. <laughs> <laughs> My debtors are paid back and then some. How's Dre? Uh, Balin, what do you want to do? Uh, I am eyeing that like Smeagol eyeing the one rain, but kind right. of keeping composure Let me for bring now. Bring this over for you for your reference too. I think that what happened is we have moved directly south of where that massive snail was, and that's why there was some water in the passage. So I recommend that when we leave here, we leave the uh, the secret passage again. And until then, I am going to move over and check out that obelisk. You note that that obelisk has a couple of strange features about it. One is that there is kind of a seam around the skull, and there's also kind of a seam around the base of the obelisk. Interesting. Does yeah. it look like the skull could be pried out of the obelisk? You don't see a good catch or handle or pry location to pry it open. Got it. Then I'm good. I'm going to end my turn. Okay. After you comes uh, Ellen Godfrey. Uh, yeah, I'm going to check out that thing as well. Um, using my, I mean, like just as a knower of religious stuff, does this, I mean, do I see anything like, does this look like a no. religious no, Thank this is something unknown to you. It almost oh, feels yeah. like the periphery of your dreams, however. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Uh yeah, so you said there's a there's a seam at the a seam at the bottom and a seam around the skull. Correct. Uh I'm gonna poke at the skull okay. and see if like there's some like a catch or a latch or a you know, something like a switch. Mm hmm Um so you and Bellin both have looked for any way to open it. You don't see anything to open it. Oh, <sighs> Does it look like, it, I mean, because you said it's like a jumble of like feathers and bones and yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. Does it look like you could, I mean, how are they stuck together? Oh, it's in the stone. It's oh, carved it's in, the in the stone. stone. Yeah, this, it's a stone um, monolith that's carved oh. to look like those things. Oh, it's carved. Oh, it's, yeah. so it's not like real bones and feathers Correct. and stuff. Correct, yeah. Oh, oh, whew. okay. I thought this thing was like some horrific, <laughs> like, like, I was like, oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so Godfrey's done. Stalnir, what do you want to do? Yeah, curious by what they're looking at. I'll come over and take a peek as well. Okay. Um, you said there's a seam runs along the bottom? There's a seam all the way around the bottom of it, and a seam all okay. the way around the skull. Doesn't look like okay. there's any way to open the skull. Does, and... uh, I'll go ahead and, and make an attempt to see if this turns the whole thing by chance. Just okay. Like take one edge and push and yeah, turn. Yeah, it does not. Great. Or Laszlo, okay. your turn. Uh, you said there's a weird floor in the middle, yeah? Yeah. Laszlo's a simple man. I put down my torch next to me, pull out my hammer, and whack it. Okay. Nothing happened. Straight, your turn. All right. Bye-bye, uh, Laszlo. <laughs> I'm going to go check. There's a door to the north, right? There is, I'm yes. I'm going to go check it for traps. No traps. Time. 
Okay. Ellen, your turn. Does the skull, uh, its eye holes, would they look about gem-sized? Um, like inserting what we just got? No, nothing that you have found here got, would fit them. Got it. Then I'm going to potentially do something very stupid and dangerous. I am going to kneel, okay. and I am going to take out my dagger and just cut my hand a little bit and let some blood drip into the bottom seam of okay. the obelisk. Nothing happens. Um, the seam appears to be fairly deep, though. Like mm. you would suspect, this whole obelisk could slide down into the ground from how deep that seam is. Ah, four kneeling places here in a central, strange spot. God, for your turn. There's... Yeah. So I say, look, these are kneeling things. This is a this is a room of prayer. I was like, gentlemen, we have to man these kneeling things, and I will move up and kneel on this this thing facing the center you see an underworld scene materialize between the translucent floor beneath the translucent floor throngs of broken bodies under crumbling mountains wailing figures clutching at flesh flayed by wind-blown daggers rivers of gore stalked by giant jaguars describe to me one deceased rival or enemy or other despised person you knew and what brutality fit, what brutally finishing fitting punishment that person is receiving in the underworld i uh godfrey is, uh was an orphan um and the very one of the first people that took godfrey in um was uh sort of a horrible abuse like a like an oliver twist type of scenario where he had a bunch of ur street urchins um working for him and would like uh do horrible things um was you know just a really really bad individual um, and I see that person, my first tormentor, um, in the, in the underworld, um, and is being, uh, slowly devoured and beaten by smaller versions of the flail snail that we saw. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, it okay. is like, there's like hundreds of them, like crawling over this guy and like slowly pummeling his bones to ash while devouring his flesh. Perfect ending for our break time. So break, um, one more poison token right before the break at eleven forty. So we're up to four poison tokens now. Oh, boy. Oh, Write those down for great. you. We'll come back from the break at eleven fifty and uh, continue with the next person's turn. Which will be Stalnir. Okay. See you guys in ten. All right, we are back and it is Stalnir's turn. I have returned. All right, um, Stalnir's turn. Yep, sorry, I didn't unmute myself there. <laughs> uh, I too was curious about the kneeling, and so to see if anything different changes or not, I'll hit a different stone. Okay. Um, and attempt the same thing. Same thing happens to you. So, what punish yeah. punishments being uh, laid upon your enemies? Uh, well, for Stalnir, um, he sees his father um, yoked to the equipment of oxen, being whipped and beaten to trowel through a crop of gore. <laughs> okay. All right, next to go is Laszlo. Oh, and Stalnir, you get uh, your luck token back. Go ahead, Stalnir, oh, okay. or Laszlo. I kneel before no god but Ged. <laughs> Very good. What do you want to do, Laszlo? Um, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to just take a quick peek through the door. Okay, you can open it. I don't it want to... I'm just going to open it quickly, have a yeah. look through, <laughs> and see what it looks like in there. Hallway heading north, uh, some low water near the end of your light. <laughs> then Drake. Uh, I'm going to hang right here with Laszlo, and, since I don't have a torch. And then Balin. I am going to move over to a prayer mat and kneel and kind of uh, look back at Laszlo. I know how you feel. I follow the covenant. But I think it's just something we're going to have to swallow. I'm going to kneel and pray. Okay. And what uh, punishment do you see? I see my father, and he is having the uh, Tantalus punishment. Of He's in a pool of water, but every time he goes to drink, the water recedes and fruit above his head. That is always out of his reach. Got it. Then Godfrey. Uh, okay. Um, do I see any changes? Like the, the three of us are kneeling. Do I see anything changing nope. in the room? Nothing changing yet. All right. Uh, I'll call out to uh, to Laszlo or Dreg and say, "Let's see. Let's see if we get one more kneeling. Let's see what happens." Stall near. Pray, 
pray with me. Yeah, I, I, I second that, kind of reinforce it. This may be a mechanism in which to activate. Last though. That the thief sully his morals, then <laughs> I shall not. Uh, Drake. Uh, I don't believe in gods anyway. No, I'll go over there and kneel All on right. the fourth What one. punishment do you see, Drake? Um, there was a bigger bully in the uh, the gang that Dreg was in. Uh, he used to kind of pick on Dreg, and one night Dreg, you know, waited for him to sleep and slit his throat. So he sees that bully uh, constantly um, trying to to get food and it constantly being pulled away from him, and while things rip his insides out. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Unfortunately, that seems to have no effect on anything else in the room. When the four of you do that. I'm going to circle back around to Laszlo, and I'm going to roll a random monster check. You're still good. Laszlo, what do you want to do while the praying seems to have ended fruitlessly? Right, I think you're right about the snail. Let's head back through the passage. Oh, the passage has disappeared. <laughs> oh, the secret passage, yeah. yeah. Oh, you want to go up the secret passage? Yeah. Put you over there. Oh, oh, do you guys want to do that? Anyone want to check anything else yep. out of the room? Uh, I want to yeah, give... Uh, I don't do know. You that monolith seems like it should do something. I know, okay. right? <laughs> you can check well, it out, we might Godfrey? need something for it. So, are you gonna check it out, Godfrey? Yeah, let me get. Let me give it one more look. Okay. Uh, let me give it one more look. So you got the seam uh, at the base that looks like the whole monolith might slide down. You got the seam around the skull. You don't have any way to open the skull that you know of. Yeah, it doesn't seem. And like nothing else out? seems like it pushes or pulls or anything. You want to try and push the skull? Yeah, let me try pushing the skull in. It slides in, and when it does, the monolith slides down to the ground. Into the oh. ground, and when the monolith slides down into the ground, a uh, secret passageway opens up behind it. Laszlo, the priest did a thing. <laughs> <laughs> the priest did a thing. <laughs> I run into the room expecting him to see, expecting to see him like torn apart by tentacles or something. <laughs> Yeah. So and even I'm though pleasantly I, surprised by the uh, by the secret passage, even though you can't see it, there's a secret passage behind it, and if you get close enough with light, you'll see that it goes into another chamber. Yeah, I go, huh, huh. <laughs> and then, in addition, I'll lead the way in the other chamber. When you get in there, you see a strange glow coming from the chamber that wasn't there that you recall before. Oh, ah, this is the, this is the right chamber there. we started in. Is this it where is. we started? Oh, it is. Yeah, it's the it's the statue chamber. And there's a strange glow there now that wasn't there before. The statue oh. had the dots around it. Laszlo, go ahead. Uh yeah, I'm gonna go and inspect the statue. Okay. Um uh, let's see here. We all step back, it closes. Put <laughs> okay. back. <clears throat> so when you press the skull in the entire ziggurat rumbled, the monolith slid down flush into the floor. There was a sigh and a humid breeze whipped through the catacombs. The extinguished a breeze? Uh, no, unfortunately not. Oh. It uh, unfortunately though did. It's weird. Um, why is that so bright? Which way did the breeze come from? Okay. Okay. So the breeze um, came from basically it would have come from the north and blew down the passageway into the chamber you walked into. The same time that that happened, it blew out both of your torches. Does anyone have any new torches? And they're, like, expended, blown out. Does anyone have any new torches oh, to no. light? I will. I have a torch I can light. Yeah, okay. I do too. Okay, so uh, do we have a new torch on Laszlo? So, yeah, take take one of your torches off, and I'll, I'll take it. Who wants to give me their torch? I'll give it to you. Okay. You take mine. And I'll... Uh... Stalnir will light another torch. New torch on Stalnir. Okay, so these torches will go out at 12.58 my time. Okay, now you come in to explore the chamber and inside the tomb. Um, the centermost clay warrior statue glows through the gloom. And now you see a talisman within it or on it. Copy Does it look like it came from like a hidden chamber inside or something? Yeah, mm-hmm. All right. I'm going to copy uh, it up above. So up above, if you look up here, you see a talisman of, a, of ascension, an exceedingly rare gift bestowed on those who would not let death part them from their interstellar god. A character wearing the talisman may lay in a giant sarcophagus, the one you've seen before, right? Mm -hmm. With all the skeletons. And mm -hmm. if you do so, yeah. you and each ally in the sarcophagus with you are teleported to identical sarcophagus in another chamber. Um, ba -ba -ba. Right? Ooh. So that talisman is your way out. <laughs> So now, uh, Lazo, uh, you went uh, over, you grabbed the talisman, everyone else, you can move to wherever you want to do, move to while he did that. And then the next round, Lazo, where you want to head? Right, so we should 
go lay... Oh, I want to kill that damn snail, but I think it's reckless to do so. Yeah, we don't have a sacrificial dagger. Right, well, we can always come back, I suppose. Oh, yeah, it'll still be here. It seems immortal. Right, through the doors, then. Uh, the hallway yeah. is the same as you left it. Mm-hmm. So that's, what, like two two or three turns? All there, those little lovely packets and trinkets again? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Do you want to search any of them on your uh, way by? I feel, like, I feel like it's a sign coming back again. Stalnir wants to grab one. Uh, do you all want to do that? Because guys, I'll have to uh, I'm going to hurry Stalnir along. we got to get out of this damn poison. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah, all right. As, as Godfrey vomits blood. Uh, if we could just if we move a little quicker, <laughs> so I, I can't just I can't just randomly grab one as I walk by. <laughs> yeah, but the one you randomly grab will have nothing of value in it because there's thousands okay, yeah. of them. So yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, if, if we could, see. if we could just just hurry it into the sarcophagus, that'd be great. <laughs> Did we check over to the west in this room? Do we want to see if there's a door in here before we? You can if you like. Feel free try to, teleporting. Well, I don't feel know, free to head on over. So somebody'd have to. You do oh, see something yeah. very strange when you get there, uh, Stalnir. You see this. Uh, Giant the, uh, axe. Hopefully it's not a creature. <laughs> oh, there's like this axe. You at least you an icon this. for it. A death god. <clears throat> oh. Oh. You see. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I feel like poor Godfrey's like, ah, it's right here. The thing to yeah, leave. If, if, if we could just, if, if, if we could just, please. <laughs> so, like the other monoliths here that have the depiction of the jaguar masked woman in body paint standing barefoot atop piles of bones, this one does as well, but there's an axe embedded in the upper part of it. This axe... Um, oh, there's also a head of the skeleton and its severed skull lying nearby. The axe is um, <clears throat> about the size of a great axe, and looks like the handle is made out of limestone... It's decorated with painted coatal feathers and wrapped in deer leather. Incantations are re- inked into the leather. Looks like an amazing magic item. Can I oh, check it up, for traps, up. boys? <laughs> hold up one sh- second. I gotta check something here. But, uh, there is one disconcerting thing when you return, however. That is... The Pale Flame Brazier is out. The one to the north. Oof. Uh, anti-death repelling one? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> light that thing. I, I I'm sure it's fine. I was <laughs> counting on it. <laughs> well, our torches, torches ran out. I'm sure it would too, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it's not a bad omen or anything. Can Dreg check yeah. the uh, the pillar and the axe for traps? See if there's anything that you know, like pulling it out is going to trigger some sort of mechanism that's yeah so a careful search drag and um the uh axe it's not trapped in any way but there's something you note that you note that's abnormal and that is that the um the column is hollow the axe is like broken into the column but it's also at the same time sealing the column if you pull the axe out you'd have access to what's inside um albeit you'd have to be in like a gaseous form to get in there yeah, you would have access inside. Doesn't okay. look like this is what's leaking green gas, right? No green gas leaking out of it. No. Um, okay. So, so you have this axe. You could try and wrench it free. It would expose the hollow interior of the column, but it's still such a narrow gap. You'd have to be like gaseous form to get through it. Um, also, what do you want to do? Uh, yeah, I'll I'll pull the axe out. Okay. Wrong Go ahead and make time. a strength Before- check. Yeah. Before you do it, I just kind of remind you of uh, I expounded on my rumor, just in case. I don't know, but she beheads in smoke. Huh. There is a headless body in the skull nearby. That is true. Might let out smoke. Before you, before you do, can I just grab that amulet, amulet from you? If I could just <laughs> take that, I could just take that amulet for safekeeping. Just let me just hold on to it. <laughs> Certainly, I, I hand it over to him. Okay, <laughs> thank you. I will try and pull the axe out. Okay, everyone, you are you guys, a good man, Laszlo. Everyone, oh, put your hands where you want to be when he does that. Try to make a DC fifteen strength check. I uh, fail. <laughs> I just rolled death. An eight, so I, I forgot to roll strength. You, uh, I think, are you? Um, oh, I have advantage okay. because I'm uh, roll again. Uh, 
it's like a fighter, I think. Yeah, is, yeah. Again, you have grit, okay. strength, yeah. Uh, yeah, that will also one. be an eight. Yeah. <laughs> so that's 12. 10 total. 10 total is not enough. Um, are you good with that? Do you want to fail? Yeah, yeah. I, I try and wrench it. I'm like, seems to be stuck fast, lads. You, you, you're okay with failing it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, you break the handle off the axe. Oh. Uh, duh, duh, duh. You find writing on the handle that reads, um, Laka Atika, who beheads in smoke. The, the actual head of the axe is still in the column, and you have just the handle now. So, okay. Now, what do you guys want to do? <laughs> Looks like it was for the best. I think there's a vampire <laughs> in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me uh, roll a random monster check here real quick, and then we'll get back. Okay. Um, Drake, what do you want to do now? Um, maybe we need to light that brazier again. It seemed like it was pretty useful. And then we can go uh, try out this. Well, is this a passageway off to the west here, or is yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, there's some rubble on the ground, but otherwise it's a passageway to the west. Well, we may also want to check this place to the west. What okay. do you think, boys? Yeah, I mean, maybe a quick look, but you know, just if we, if, you know, if we wanted to lay down and take a nap in the uh, sarcophagus here, it's, it's <laughs> uh, let's see. That was um, Drag. I was just going to Balin. What do you want to do? Oh, and to uh, speed speed it up, if if you don't care what you're doing, you're just following people. You can just say follow. Yep, just following. Okay, Godfrey. Same. Um, yeah, I, I'll I'll follow at a limp. Still near. Um, I'm gonna see if I can light the brazier. Okay. Move up next to the brazier. You find out you cannot relight it. Okay. No magic you have can relight that brazier. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Laszlo, what do you want to do? Well, I suppose we're going to the west then. Move on up to the next room. Everyone else can move up next behind Laszlo. When you get there, I'll describe what you see. There is a diamond-shaped pool framed by a polished ochre marble. The water has a perfume scent. There are clay bottles, clay... Um, bowls, there's oils, all that such stuff sitting along the rim of the pool, like a whole accoutrement of bath salts and bath oils and such. There is a mosaic on the walls of a dark-haired woman sending corn husk mummified bodies over a waterfall on canoes. Looking into the pool, you see that scattered along the bottom are turquoise beads, a suit of leather armor, and a clay-stoppered tube. Um, let's see, Stalnir, you think with you're reading of the mosaics and the agents that are all around here. You could perform an embalming ritual. You can take some of the okay. symbol inked corn husk wrappings and jars of paste. You can use the wrappings and the paste and the reagents to turn one character into a rare jaguar mummy. Oh, it will take some time. Okay. I would gain two poison gas tokens while you do that. Okay. Once you become a mummy, you'd be undead. You'd be immune to gas. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, take half damage from non-magic or non-silver sources. You take double damage from fire. You get plus four to your armor class. You'd gain an extra bite attack each turn that deal D8 damage and be considered magical. All right so. now, Stalnir's not seeing a downside. <laughs> <laughs> he starts embalming himself. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ooh, boys. <laughs> take a little while. <laughs> okay, so... Um, yeah, you guys, uh, you guys see all that, Drake? I'm going to grab my grappling hook and try and hook yeah. that leather armor out of there. Okay. I want to do the same all right. thing. Um, you said something about a clay stopper? Yeah, there's a clay stopper. Um, let's see. Is there a clay stopper tube and turquoise oh, okay. beads and leather armor. So the leather armor you pull out, I'll put up in your list up above, it is plus two deer armor. Plus two deer leather armor, tan leather armor, Created from the hide of a sacrificial deer, painted with the sigil of those who seek sacrifices for the outer gods. Grants plus two to armor class. Once per moon cycle, you may detect the most suitable candidate for a sacrifice within ten miles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you have that. Uh, you get the clay stoppered jar out, and you find inside it a scroll of spell catching. I'll put that above too. Usable by any character. When you're targeted by one spell, you can try and catch the spell. You roll a DC 12 dex or intelligence check. On a success, the harmful effect is negated, and you can cast the spell from the scroll one time. And then you find a hundred gold pieces worth of turquoise beads. Ho oh, ho! Oh. Yeah. Oh my. Nice. Uh, do we think this water has any magic effects? Like, I don't know, healing or no. curing or anything like no, that? No, that's it. So, as a group, you'll have to decide if you want to take two poison gas tokens and if someone wants to be a mummy. 
I nod. Would you three no, not I look at, <laughs> Anyone I look want to be a mummy? Here. That's, that'll make the vote easier. I'm going to line you all up. If you want to be a mummy, move up one square. I mean, Gotta move to the back there. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like no I, mummies. I look at, so, at Salnir and nod significantly yeah. at Laszlo. And then nod at the pool, and I nod at Laszlo, <laughs> and I nod at the pool. <laughs> um, I mean, there, there is a part of me though. If it's so, it's something I have to perform. You could do it on yourself. You could uh, okay. train someone else to help. Interesting. Yeah. Can I do the brain part? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to copy um, what it would be up above, just so you can make to, an informed to be decision. Honest with you thinking about. Stalnir and his background and the things he's searching. This is very tempting for Stalnir. So if you look up above, this is what where Jaguar Mummification yeah. does. Uh, yeah. So I, I I look you know I look at Stalnir and I say, hey, you know, if you want to do this, I'll I'll I'll, I'll help perform the rides. Yeah, yeah. Stalnir will do it. Okay. Now you guys got to vote on. Do you want to spend two poison tokens to do it? And before you take that's, that vote, that's true too. Just want to make sure you're aware that you just gained one more poison token, given that it's twelve ten. So you're now up to five poison tokens that I can use against you at any time. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, God, God, Godfrey's like, look, man, I know you want to be an undead mummy jaguar. However, <laughs> like, I feel like I'm having trouble breathing. Maybe you and this wound them. is starting to smell like almonds, and that's really bad. <laughs> All right, what, so what if, you want to so if you want to take the time, move your token up. If you don't, move your token down. Uh oh all right. Well, Looks I'm, like you're I'll not waiting. The group. Yeah, They're not no. waiting. I know where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so from this chamber, there's a chamber, there's a patchway southwest, southeast, and of course back to the chamber to the east. Well, there was some good treasure in here. Maybe we should take some time to look around. Now, uh, I will give the armor to one of the two uh, light armor people. Yeah. Whoever wants it to replace their armor. armor. Anyone uh, wearing leather armor could put on and get plus two to their armor class. I was going to say, I, do we want to roll on it? Uh, I don't think Alan I can. Or, as a wizard, uh, right? What's your AC right now? Mine is 15. 15? I'm at 13, so oh, I would okay. like it, or we can roll for it. Uh, you know what? Why don't you take it for now? So, okay. We can settle up at the end. Okay. Hey, uh, thank you. Lasso, where do you want to head? Do we want to keep looking or do we want to get out of here? You could vote again. If you want to keep looking, move up. If you want to get out, move down. Looks like you keep looking. I guess we'll keep going. <laughs> okay, Luchwe <Lutzway> Lazo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stalin's like, wait a minute. If we're going to hang around and look. <laughs> At the end of that passage is a door. Of course, Drake L Listen, can... listen. If you want to stay in here by yourself and, and wrap yourself up as a mummy, you're welcome to. <laughs> I ain't waiting yeah. for you. <laughs> need to have help <laughs> okay drag you uh want to search that door before you guys open it yes please okay no traps you can open it now all right, you guys can all get in position behind uh laszlo and laszlo this is what you see uh there's a hallway right. here um oh well this isn't tomb of horror stone at all. faces <laughs> you see large and protruding stone faces that come out of the walls there's wolves eagles bison oxalotls and jaguars uh, once vibrant paint is peeling to reveal cracked limestone underneath. The murals on the walls also have... There's murals between the faces, which depict women in stylized jaguar masks, raising hands toward a ziggurat struck by lightning. The place smells like fresh rain Rain here. Um, the, the paintings on the ceiling, is not, it's not like an opening in the ceiling. It's actually okay. just a painting. Um as you're looking upon this, you see something creeping along the ground out of the darkness ahead of you. Just comes into view of your torchlight, uh, wriggling your way, uh, multiple tentacles on the end of its head. It looks like a huge centipede or millipede or something like that, but with multiple tentacles on its head. But before it gets close to you, you see the stone animal faces grind open. And then a calamitous sound of thunder reverberates from the mouths, blasting apart this creeping cave creature. Uh, and when that thing is like just explodes, you might want to not be in the room yet, Alasso. When that thing just explodes, <laughs> right. um, I got a wandering monster check. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay, uh -oh. I got one. Oh, is it coming through this chamber? It was coming from the south toward you at the edge of your light. 
No, no, the wandering monster. Is the wandering monster oh. also coming through the no, south chamber? It's not. <laughs> you, you're not that lucky. <laughs> I was like, oh, come on. I think this is the thunder. This is the bone destroying thunder thing. Yeah, and we don't have the uh, figurine that would make us not go ouchy boomy. Yeah, Laszlo's like, fuck that, and just closes the door. <laughs> Turning around to see a monster behind us. <laughs> okay, no monster comes up behind you. That's the good news. You shut the door. Oh, now, where do oh. you want to go, Laszlo? Oh, that's okay. That's even more terrifying now, <laughs> since we want <laughs> to nothing happen. <laughs> All right, uh, let's just check out this other passage. All right. We got to get the hell out of here. You can just move you guy down to the end of that passage. I'll tell you what you see down there. <clears throat> so, in this chamber, you see this creature, which is disturbing more so than maybe anything you've seen in this place. Nuatol the Revelator, one of the Star Eater's servant demigods manifesting as an elder gibbering mouther in the shape of a giant jaguar. The thing is um, sleeping, it looks like. It's the size of an elephant. It's got no fur, but it's covered in slimy, pale flesh, crisscrossed by veins as if turned inside out, with hundreds of straining eyes and banged mouths twitching on the body. The eyes are moving rapidly like it's dreaming. Um, So it's asleep in the middle of the room. You see two statues flanking it. One to the east, one to the west. They are of women, with their arms fallen away to rubble. The mosaic floor in the center of the room depicts winged serpents wreathed in lightning bolts circling around Nuatl the Revelator. You hear the low muttering of a hundred voices. All right. We want to do the pitter patter of Stalnir's feet going backwards. <laughs> yeah, we we uh, I, I am going to slowly back out of the room okay. as quietly as I can. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess you don't want to go those two ways. <laughs> now, where you want to go? <laughs> to oh, to oh, the tomb. Okay. Let's go to the tomb. Out, okay. The, everybody, in, everybody into the sarcophagus. You can put your guys as you're approaching the sarcophagus <laughs> with the lead guy basically adjacent, and everyone else where they want to be when the lead guy gets there. Not in, but adjacent. Oh, okay. I think we could have taken it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> as you're moving into the chamber and moving up to the sarcophagus. You hear a little bit of movement from the west, and you see a woman. Looks like a peasant woman to the south of you, but then she smiles, and you can see her teeth are fangs, and she is most definitely undead. So everyone roll initiative, please. Uh, Initiative to get into the boat. (laughs) This is a vampire (laughs) thrall of Lakatika, once a peasant Uh. woman. This unfortunate soul now serves as the thrall of the vampire priestess who beheads in smoke. It's only seven more of those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and yeah, to use your talisman, you note, let's see, talisman of ascension. You basically have to be in the sarcophagus and lay down, but you want to be the last one to lay down. Yep. Otherwise, you'll leave uh, people behind. <laughs> uh, yep. All right. So you can certainly ready that lay down action if you want. Okay, so uh, yeah. let me roll her initiative. The last one to lay down, not the last one we to We be a one. Not a one. Balin, you're first. Yeah. All righty. I am going to fire my longbow at her. Okay. It's going to be a, ooh, 13 plus 8 for 5 magical piercing. Nice. And I am going to dolphin dive into the coffin. <laughs> and go prone. <laughs> yep. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Uh, then her turn. She rushes forward. Oh, drag. Poor drag. Yep. She comes forward and grabs poor little drag and bites him. He remembers those bullies who used to eat his food, but she's trying to eat his heart out. Uh, she gets a 23 to bite you. It does two yeah. piercing damage to you, drag, which also does blood drain, which means your maximum hit points are reduced by one. So I'll take care of that real quick for your token. So you're at a 13 out of 14 now. Okay. That might come back with a long rest. And that is her turn. No multi attack, yeah. And Godfrey, you're next. Or no, Stalnir, you're next. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and go for our uh, acid arrow. Good yeah. lord. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got advantage on this one. Six acid, nice. <laughs> All right, excellent. And I will get into the sarcophagus, but I will remain standing. I don't know how, how can we, how much movement do I get? You know you'll be left behind if he goes prone while you remain standing. Gotcha, gotcha. But it's wanna... Godfrey who's got the necklace, right? Do you want to? Godfrey's got the necklace. Godfrey, sorry. Yeah, yeah you guys handed it off to Godfrey. 
Yep. Um, um, uh, right, he's going to bump it and lay down. I guess I'll be lying down. <laughs> okay, lying down. You guys can both put pro markers on you. Drake, go ahead. Um, does she is she grappling me? Not or grappling. Is, she, no. is that just flavor? Okay. Just all right. Me. I'm gonna I'm gonna stab her with my dagger okay. and then um, try to get in the coffin. So, ooh, nice shot. Thank you. Your dagger is not magical though, or is it? Uh, it is not. No, mm, doesn't so. affect her at all. Did you say she's sacrificing her in some way? No. Okay. Drake, you jumping in and going prone? Jump in and lay down, yes, sir. I slow your turn. Oh, Godfrey, I skipped you. So you go in and you're ready to go in prone? Uh, yeah, okay. I'm, I, yeah, I'm like just just ready to lay down. Got it. Uh, I try to fend this creature back. I toss my, my torch to, to Dreg uh, and do a draw cut against the, the vampire. Okay. <laughs> Godfrey, at two hit points, you've been ready to lay down for a while. For a long time, man. Like this is this is. I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> fourteen, uh, is 14 hit. to hit. Yeah, thirteen that's damage. Ooh, nice shot. And what else are you doing, Laszlo? Uh, I I leap over, uh, my my prone rogue friend and lie down myself. All right. Diving into the coffin. And then Godfrey, you lie down. Oh wait, wait, wait. Yeah, one, I lie the rest on. of the way down. One point, one yeah. last thing. One last what? thing before so okay. Lazo goes. Um, <clears throat> spend some poison points. <laughs> you're, choke, you're choking and coughing as you're making the swing. Um, you can push through and still make the attack, uh, or you can forego it and just jump in. If you push through and still make the attack, you'll take 66 poison damage. Jesus! Oh. No, I am going to. Uh, that doesn't sound like much of a uh, difficult choice. <laughs> See, like the, I, I should, I would have liked to know that before I took my turn. So I'm. I well, it's when you took your turn. Hacking, yeah. I coughing and hacking fall into the. Uh, okay. Into the sarcophagus. All right. It was six, uh, D six, not sixty six. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You jump into the sarcophagus. You lay down now, At Godfrey. Hit points. It doesn't matter. Oh, <laughs> okay. <clears throat> when you do, you guys are instantly teleported, and you're in doo -doo 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 -doo. Pressure, pressure, another pressure, sarcophagus pressure, yeah. similar to the one you were in before, but all surrounding you is a city. When you come out of the sarcophagus, is a miniature city, and you're looking out like at. You're inside the pyramid, in the very center of the pyramid, and all around you is a miniature city laid out in great detail with canals and waterways and temples and ziggurats and everything. And there are um, light shining down from above because the top of the pyramid is open, and you all can escape through the top of the pyramid, return to your ship, recover, and come back and descend back down into the pyramid for round two. You have escaped, and that's into round one. All right. You Good did. Because we all survived. With no oh casualties. <laughs> I can't believe we made it. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, yeah. We got pretty lucky. The the dice were definitely on our side. There that. Oh, there's, did a lot so of still retreat. lamenting not being a mummy yet. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Does that there's mean air is clean? What was that? Oh, sorry. So the air is clean, the air yeah. The air is clean. You're able to return to your ship. Uh, you'll play these same characters next week, and okay. you'll be exploring the interior of the Ziggurat next week. Is you'll basically start the adventure repelling down ropes into the into the interior of the Ziggurat, basically the same place where you left. Oh my god! <clears throat> and you're oh, cool. continue your search for the uh, the Golden Jaguar of Noctili. Awesome. Does does the circlet oh. charges recharge? Uh, the circlet does not. Nope, okay. it's that many charges for the adventure. Let's see what else did you get. Yep. So you got a circlet of clay titans, um, scroll of protection from felines, a talisman of ascension. The only thing it does is get you from the lower levels up, but you still have it in case somehow you get back in the lower levels. Um, plus two deer leather armor. It won't take you down armor. to the lower levels? What was that? It won't take you down to the lower levels. Doesn't doesn't appear to. Uh, uh, okay, so... Of ascension. Let's split up the treasure that you could keep. So everyone roll a straight d20. We'll see who gets the leather armor, who gets the circlet, who gets the scroll. <clears throat> okay, one more roll. Who are we missing there? We got Godfrey, we got Ellen. This is is Dragnut? 
Drake. Did I not roll it? Sorry. My apologies. Thought I had rolled it. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Drake's first. What would you like, Drake? And here's all your treasure to pick from up above. Oh, I would love that leather armor if right. uh, if uh, Bellin's not going to fight me for it. Nope, go ahead. Is here's right. plus two leather right, armor, deer you. leather armor. Next to go is Stalnir. I'll stick with the circle at the moment if nobody has any issues with it. I don't know if anybody wants to scroll a spell catching, but... Next to go is Godfrey and Mini Voices reroll. Oh, you got a 12 too? Okay. Okay, Godfrey, what would you like? Um, the scroll of protection uh, with beelines can be used by anyone. The scroll of spell catching also can be used by anyone. If, so that uh, scroll, of, scroll of spell catching, can I use that if somebody else is targeted? No. Only if it targets me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I'll, uh, I'll, just stick, I'll, I'll just stick with the talisman of attention. Okay. Next to, go, next to go is uh, Laszlo. Spell catching uh, or protection from felines. What, sorry, what's the spell catching one do again? If you're targeted by a spell, you roll a DC 12 dex or intelligence check, and if you succeed, you have no harmful effect from the spell, and you now have the spell on the scroll that you can cast one time. I guess I'll take the protection from felines protection one. I'll from probably feline. be uh, getting attacked by felines at some point. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Okay. Um, last but not least is... Bellin, you want the scroll of protection from or spell catching? Yep, I'll take spell catching. Okay. Uh, no need to send me the updates. I'll update your characters to have those items on them. And uh, we'll play again 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time on 360. Uh, I also uh, I also took that gold covered skull, too. Oh, yeah, that you have the treasure, too. Yeah, I'll yeah. assume you're holding on to it in case any of it does anything. Uh, yeah. But we'll split up the treasure value, too. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. All right, guys. Yeah, I, th- I guess we'll like, do the, the whole campaign sort of thing, right? We'll just split up all the gold. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Awesome. All right, guys. Tom, this was Thanks, Jen. Tom. This was a ton of fun, man. Thank I know. I, I love Source of Victory Adventures. Yeah, They're so this, fun. This was oh, awesome. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, what it, guys had a good time. What a creepy place, man. That <laughs> yeah. they bring the other jaguars. <laughs> so terrifying. <laughs> The jaguar, the gibbering mather jaguar is pretty horrific. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pretty bad. If you thought a skinless cat was ugly, this is the next step, right? <laughs> right. Like, like furless cat. <laughs> All right. Bye, everyone. All right. See you next week. Bye, guys, everyone.